antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, responds to high blood osmotic pressure due to blood loss and low amounts of water in the blood. ADH, secreted by the posterior pituitary gland, binds to smooth muscle cells in arteriole walls. The result is vasoconstriction, which increases resistance and helps raise blood pressure back toward normal. In the kidneys, ADH binds to the principal cells, forming walls of the nephron tubules. The tubules add water pores called aquaporins to surface membranes. This increases the permeability of the tubules to water, counteracting the high osmotic pressure and increasing reabsorption of water. The greater water retention increases blood volume, venous return, and cardiac output, and helps normalize blood and osmotic pressure. ADH also binds to sweat glands, reducing sweating. Again, the retained water boosts cardiac output and helps normalize blood and osmotic pressure. ANP has the opposite regulating effect to the RAA system and ADH. It helps bring high levels of blood pressure and blood sodium down. When high blood volume stretches cells in the atria of the heart, ANP is secreted and targets cells in the kidneys. The hormone inhibits sodium and water retention. Blood volume lowers as more sodium and water is lost in urine. Blood pressure and blood sodium are lowered toward normal.